I've been a little more sleep at night. What I do with that? Kind of want to light up a cup of smoke. Kind of want some crown mixed in my coat. Kind of want to hold up in some corner booth somewhere. I kind of want to find a pretty little thing. Kind of like me, don't want no strings. Knowing in the morning that that bitch ain't going nowhere, but tonight I kind of don't want to care. I don't know, I don't know. Getting ready to see this motherfucker for a second time, made a six. I love me some Justin Moore, man. I have a new job. Did not people not get that? Uh, <laughs> wow, I'm on a whole different shift. And I have to go to the DMV today, so. I'm not working down there at the mine no more. You know what I mean? They didn't have, want to pay no benefits at all. So I was offered another job with benefits across the board. I didn't hesitate. There's my water. Fuck. And I took the new job is because everybody that works here, I went to school with. Everyone was like, Yeah, I dare for somebody to fucking call in over here on you and try to get you fired. We'll sit there and be like, What's up? Because they already know what they're calling for. You know what I mean? I was like, Yeah, that'd be between three people. I said, That'd be between Mr. Uh, the one that calls himself Leroy. I said, And then probably the big and boy. I said, he, I, I doubt it. That boy had somebody fired. I said, he actually, you know what I mean, uh, the scooter or whatever. I never really got their names to be cool or nothing like that. I think their fucking names are retarded. Yeah, but someone said that was supposed to be my name. I'm a scooter. Holy shit. I, I, ain't, I don't even ride a scooter, but I'll scoot all over your motherfucking head when I tap dance on it. You're damn hundred dollar. Fucking bills. You hear that? You hear that? That's right, baby. That's right. Now let's pull out the crack hide. Be so approved. First time I've ever, I've been fucking. I always wanted to get a credit card growing up. You know what I mean? Every kid does. And I was like, fuck it. And I was like, I'm gonna go pull, apply for one. Motherfucker approved like that. I don't have no debt. I'm making sure I got all my stuff for the DM motherfucking punk ass V. That thing is old, man. That is super old. Super, super fucking old. It's falling apart. You gotta hold it together to see the numbers. That's why I flashed it. I was like, okay, I don't care. You can't even tell what my middle numbers are and shit. That's how old it is. What's that, Apes? What you doing there, that big boots? You better be nice. Him better be nice. Oh, my day. Old dog. He sits here with me all the time. Him my old dog or frog, ain't you, buddy? Him his daddy dog or frog. Come say hi. You come say hi to the people. Watch him build a big fucker. Squiggles is coming. Soon as he, what, soon as she come, his big jealous ass gotta come. Coco, you ain't got no fleas. What are you a digging about? Look at him. Look how he holds his arms over the thing. Now, one of them females come over towards me. His ass is going to get up. What you doing, Abe? You going with that female? Oh, I thought so. You going to let that? Oh, my God. Just because that baby female that want daddy pet her, you get all jealous. Give him a smile. Give him a big smile. Give, give him a big There you go. Give him a smile, boy. That's my baby right there, buddy. That dog is my fucking life right there. I would fuck someone up. I'd drown you in your own fucking 
blood at just like Johnny Depp said to fucking miss heard. But everybody sides with Johnny Depp through this, not me. Sorry. I do not. I do fucking not. The reason that Depp made it and he's bad is because he is a sicko that likes to be shit on during sex. That never came out because Amber didn't want to expose him like that. Motherfucker bitch shit on him during sex. And then he left the, in, in the fucking bed and the maids found it. And then try to say he defamated in the bed because the maids are paid by who? You, Mr. Depp. Under contract by who? You, Mr. Depp. That's right. You paid every fucking one of those people off to talk for you. You're a, you beat Amber Heard. You can hear it on the 911 thing. You can hear it constantly. I, want, I don't want to round this in psychotic motherfucker no more. Just because she didn't want to be with your ugly ass ass, you had to do that. First and foremost, Johnny Depp wears fucking mascara everything. Go back and play Edward Scissorhands, you dumbass. Look at the movies. You, you The only movie that ever got you kicked off was Blow, and it wasn't a movie. It was a documentary, bitch. I'm in a documentary, okay? And then you said you were going to come and play Jessica White and... Demi Moore was going to play Mamie. You wouldn't last it here a week. Johnny Depp has right in his Wikipedia, I lived in West Virginia for a week. I was going to play Jessica White in a new movie. He's never lived here a fucking... Try to say he lived in a camper on the side of a... a he built a, a fucking hill for one year to see what it was living like in West Virginia so he could play the role. You've never been here. Ever. Only by being here, if y'all even fucking see it, is Miley Cyrus. She broke down. She said, before I could call Triple A, she said, I done had five hillbilly boys. Didn't even know me from Adam and Eve. Changed my tire. She said, before I could dial the number to Triple A. That's right, Miley. She bought a fucking beautiful farm in Bluefield. Gave all, and all gave some. Some stood true for the red, white, and blue, and some had a fall. The best song her daddy ever wrote, right there. And if you ever think of me, think of all your liberty and recall. That achy break car shit. I'd play that in Virginia, Virginia just to piss him off. Bam, down, down, down. Don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart. And I'd sing, make it sound so country, just so it would piss in the cherry I'd be like, don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart. You know, I would just make my voice sound like I was screaming. Looking for my cigs, guys. Some people hit me up was like, would you take me to the uh, pharmacy? They even left there. They was like, uh, yeah, I hate to be rushed. Uh, if you want to go, I'm on the fucking Logan, too. And I said, if Tyler Magnata's there, I'm fucking him up first, and then I'll take y'all. Guarantee he was sitting right there because when he got back a hold of me, we already found a ride. Don't be killing cats, son, because if they can prove that criminally, you will do seven years in federal penitentiary. What's up, Junior, brother? That shirt wouldn't shrink, bro. It's, I still got it, though. Bub's got it on right now. But you know I love my shit. And I went and bought a blue one, and it was a fucking 2X. I was like, motherfucker. So I'm going to give it. You know what I mean? If you, you like Rick and Morty? 
If so, bro, I'd like to send you one back. It's blue, and they're in their spaceship, you know what I mean? Just like this. And they're like passing a J or something, you know what I mean? Don't tell my heart, my eagy breezy heart. Didn't y'all hear me making fun of that one? Some gave all. I gotta go over to the DMV today because uh, I got me a new job, Junior. I was working down at that mines. I don't, you know what I mean? They, had, they didn't have no benefits. And I was like, fuck this, dog. You know what I mean? So I got the fuck up out of there and got a killer job with my buddies. I know everybody I work with. Everybody. Good money, though. And it's cool as hell where I know everybody. I don't even have to drive my own vehicle half the time. How much time we got? Okay. 30 minutes, I'll be gone. We got about 30 more minutes before I'm going to head out. Don't tell my heart. My icky fucking breaky heart. <laughs> Roll that shit. Let me hit that shit, motherfucker. What you talking about? I'll let you hit it, all right? Five clubs to the face. What a five thing you say to the face. Shapow! Get the shaking, Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy was a major fan of the Wild and Wonderful Wife. Oh, fuck, I gotta send this out to Nathan. I'll be going right past the post office. Motherfucker, I keep forgetting that thing on the table every time. I've had two days it was hectic, though, here. Now I'm sitting here worried I'm going to have to make a call before I leave and check on my stepdad. He's over here getting fucking surgery and shit, man. You know what I mean? Hey, buddy, and whoever wants to buy them Jordan cards off of me, hit me up. I found them five we was talking about. I found them five we was talking about. Uh, the ones that you wanted. Oh, I got them right. There's nobody out there. I'm gonna skin y'all's ass with this buck knife while right here. Getting under my couch like that, y'all gonna fuck everything up. Wow. Abrams. Don't make me say it twice, boy. Don't make it Abrams. Abrams. Stubborn fucker. There's nothing tiny. <laughs> you four wheel drive that bitch, didn't you? Don't tell my heart, my Iggy. Everybody says, man, you and your brother have the same haircut. I'm like, no shit, it's got a ball fade, you dumbasses. <laughs> I was like, so does my son, but his ain't a ball fade, his is a fade. He likes the top longer. I told him to keep my top longer. And when I looked in the mirror, he said, how's this? I said, don't touch my top no more. I said, just cross the veins now, and I said, I'm done. Stopped in, took care of him yesterday on my way down the road. Because I stopped, and he, all I had was my cards on me. He, I said, do you take, tell me you take fucking credit. You know what I mean? Take credit, you take cards, plastic. He said, nope, I sure don't. I said, well, you need to invest in one of these, and I showed him my square thing, and I showed him the ones for the businesses. He was like, I definitely got to get one of them then. I was like, no shit, right? I was like, well, give me five minutes. Let me run to the ATM, and uh, I'll get your money. He was like, nah, nah. He said, sit down here, Dirk. He said, I'll cut your hair, and you can pay me when you got time to get it, because I'm leaving after. He said, I was getting ready to walk out the door anyway. He said, sit down here. I got you. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, that's my dude. That's why you cut my hair. I do my tapering and shit myself. He asked me off the bat because I said, you do warm shaves. He said, nope. He said, I sure don't. He said, it seems like nobody wants them done no more. I said, by God, I love a good warm shave. That's the next thing to fucking sex. Y'all know how y'all women love them face masks? And damn, it's hot as fuck, man. It's gonna be 80 degrees, almost 90 here today. I ain't got no ACs or nothing on it. But anyway, 
You can ask any guy in here. It's had a warm shave. Fuck a face mask. Fuck a massage. That shit is on point. Just laying back, closing those eyes, and trusting that motherfucker to go around your neck with a straight razor. You know what I mean? For burping my asshole ain't working, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody's like, where's this podcast at? I'm like, uh, there's five episodes. I've just never released one. I almost got this new update. That way you can add podcasts from your phone now. I don't care where it's added from. I have laptops. I'm sending one of these laptops to fucking my little princess. Because, of course, fucking, he got it all and she didn't get shit again. Did you film that again? Put it on the internet, shit pisses me off. What was his, what was this occasion? It wasn't even his birthday, man. That shit makes me mad. You do not show difference in children. Never. And you can't buy their love. Sorry. One thing you won't do. You won't buy your child's love. How many videos you seen me and Junior together? Fishing, hunting, etc. Four-wheelers. You know how many dads get out here and do that with their kids in America these days? Very fucking few. Very few. My son's my world. DMV, baby. We just love it. I mean, it's ridiculous, man. I fucking have... Looked around, seen that shit, and I'm like, wow, you know, you fucking, hey, Marilyn, what's up? Uh, hell with a bunch of brats. Uh, hell with you, buddy. I think you're talking, you call my kid a brat? I'd smack your motherfucking taste buds out. Why don't you take the exit bus and right out here, if you're going to call any kid a brat, you're talking about my son. You're talking about kids in general. And then you're talking about my son. Call me a brat, motherfucker, to my face. My son's far from a brat. You know what my son is? More intelligent than you. And that's a fact. At 16 years old, he would whip your ass, too. Probably more than likely. Because you look like you broke up disabled or some shit. <laughs> oh, are you getting mad now? Now you're getting mad because you wanted to talk about little kids in here. Randy Whittemore likes to talk about children, people. And I just caught him on his shit and he calls me a rat. You punk-ass bitch. Because I said, say that to my face. I'd lay you the fuck down. Two hits, I hit you and you hit the motherfucking ground. I knew you wasn't the best troll. I know I look like Special Ed. The same boy that you have trolled for how many years now? Kiss my ass multiple more. Hey, ladies, do I look like Special Ed? Don't worry, I'll wait, but look at this motherfucker. Look at this motherfucker. Dana White's crack-headed brother. <laughs> no shit, please. Please, boy, you'll never step on this level. Never. Once you step on to the uh, dark side over there and join them video makers. Because that's the only thing you'll ever be half fucking decent at. And I guarantee you can't even work a goddamn computer. Hell no, you're handsome. Oh, but is that Randy guy right there handsome, Marilyn? Is he handsome? That motherfucker look like Mr. Clean's motherfucking baby. Please. Please. You don't ever speak about kids, dude. Places I've been, you just would have had your neck open from here to here. Motherfucker. Nope, that's right. You're not handsome. You one fugly motherfucker. You look like Freddy Krueger got a hold of you, maybe. You're just a shit talker. You like to talk about children. What do we do, guys, to people that like to down children? You can tell he was probably touched when he was a kid. <laughs> that's the problem right there.
Exactly. He looks like a pedophile. Like he likes little kids. You heard her, didn't you? That's why you call them brats. Brats because they won't do what you told for that piece of candy, huh? I believe they're done hipped on that candy shit. Wouldn't you think it's 2021? Trying to molest. Is that what you're talking about? I'm so, I spoke about my own kid, pal. No one else's but my own. And the moment you say brat, I'll make you eat your motherfucking words, boy. Of course, of course you're asking me from Georgia or somewhere like that. I can arrange that real quick. Don't forget, that's where my brother lives now. He'll fucking hurt you over his nephew. So all you motherfuckers that want to spit that shit, you don't talk about kids. Do we, Audrey? Do we talk about kids? My brother's one thing. He hates computers. He hates all this shit. That's why. But by God, if he'd let some motherfucker talk about his nephew, he'd rip their fucking head off. Now see which prank caller this is. Which is. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hi, this is Mary with American Spirit Assistance Care. Fucking spam shit. That's right. Well, he came in here and he said, I can't stand kids. They ain't nothing but fucking brats. I said, well, that means you're calling my kid a brat. And you know what I mean? my former stepkids and also my fucking brother's stepkids now. You're calling all them brats? When you call one, you said brats, plural. I hate fucking kids. I hate them little fucking brats, meaning you hated kids. No, come on, you pussy. You're joking when you say that about a kid. You don't joke about kids, bro. Don't try to fucking make this better. I have one of the best sense of humors ever. Did the fucking MTV come following you around for any reason? Nope. That Boone County mating call was a perfect sense of humor, wasn't it? That was spontaneous sense of humor. Now the whole world, oh, we've been saying that for 20 years. Yeah, the movie's 14 years old. You mean 14 years is how long you've been saying it. Don't try to cover up your tracks, just submit them. You know what I'm saying? Brats ain't all that, see? He, no, you didn't say that, bro. I can scroll back up and show you what you said. Then you come all sideways when I called you out on it. Just apologize and we can move on. But you didn't apologize. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see what I mean. But you instantly came at me calling me fucking this, this, and this. At least you got a free shout out. I don't charge for, for shout outs anyway. You might want, if you want paid, you know, charge for a shout out. Go over to my sister's page. <laughs> Who the fuck charges for a shout out? Holy shit. Yeah, whatever. You mad cause you're using whatever now. Using girl words now. We know you paid a pedophile now, motherfucker. Yeah, that shit was 14 years ago. You know what I mean? Thank you, Audrey. We shout out all the time that we charge. Of course, I'm going to shout out a pedophile. I'm going to shout it to the world. This motherfucker is a kid toucher. He's a pedophile. Diaper sniper. Motherfucker, I would scream that to the world. You call that a shout out? Being a pedophile? Holy shit. Boy, what's going on? You must have voted for... I guarantee this man voted for Joe Biden. Guarantee it. If he's a fuck, even if he's a registered voter, which I'm highly doubting on that part. But fucking, you know he voted for Biden, right? I gotta get rid of this dude. I just went and looked at his page. I was like, wow, he's definitely 100%. You know what I mean? Kid toucher. Goodbye. You are the winkest link. Randy, witty more. You're awful fucking witty, I'll tell you that. We can, I can tell you that, but just... <laughs> Looking at your ass, you one witty motherfucker. You are the weakest link.
Goodbye. And that's enough of that. Now, we don't go for people talking about children, people. Not up in this motherfucker. Okay? You want to fucking join the Michael Jackson clan? Go fucking join it and make your own group about that shit. Okay? You say something to one of my fucking nephews, my nieces or something, I will fuck you up. I will fuck you up. Let's put it three times. I will fuck you up. You know what I mean? Kids are God's angels. They have no fucking decision in anything we do right now until they get fucking 12 years old. I'm sure he don't know that. Oh, you're God's angel. That means God will forgive me too if I touch you. That's how sick bastards like that think. No, God just won't make you burn in hell miserable so much with no way. Like our killer says, here lies, here is Hector that roams the underworld. Dumb, deaf, and blind. The one that thought he killed Achilles the Great. Let me take my mask off, Mr. Beggins, so you can see who you're fighting. <laughs> oh, yeah. I won't be needing this. Throw the sword down. Throw the shield. Throw the shield. And his spear right down. He says, I love how he bends his arm. Just like that. Bring it, motherfucker. And I love them kids. You let somebody say something to fucking Mason. I would drop one of those motherfuckers. Did you hear any of these dumbasses around here stalk sideways on one of them kids? Hell to the nah, nah, nah. Because they know the reputation of me and my brother. You would not speak around them fucking kids like that. Especially me. Bub's come down a lot compared to me. He keeps my ass in control. By God, I would have walked straight up fucking shotgun. The fuck you say? You want to suck on it? What? You suck this barrel right here. When I get ready to get off, you'll hear the click. That's the last. It, it, the cum shot will be so big, it'll blow your head off, bro. Literally. <laughs> oh, shit. I got to go. Uh, you're probably at work, Britt. Uh, if you're there with Bub, tell him I got to drive to the DMV, man. And I love them kids very much. You know what I mean? Very much I love them kids. I love them kids as much as I love Junior or as much as I love Shane, uh, Shane's dude, Elaine and Trey. That's what I told you. I said, once I take him, you, once I take, I told you once, Mason, with one ride with me, what was going to happen. That's because I stopped, showed him, learned him everything, you know what I mean? Uh, but he said, Mom's probably worried. He's like, but can we stay longer? And I was like, nah, bub. I said, Mom, and I said, I know my brother. I said, your new stepdad's probably getting ready to come up through her looking for her ass, you know? Oh, okay, I hear you. What's bub doing? His ass still asleep. If he's still asleep, take that phone in there and put it inside of you. I'll say, get the fuck up. Your phone's ringing. He'll get so mad. Jerry Buchanan. Are you from Virginia, Jerry? Say. Carrollton area. Mr. Buchanan. Let me guess. He drank last night. The only time. Every time. Don't feel good. Motherfucker, what do you think? You're going to drink five bottles of whiskey and get up and say, run a marathon? Nope, don't work like that. I can already see. He said he out drink this and out drink that. Brittany's done putting you under the table, motherfucker. Okay, Audrey, you be good. You know what I mean? Or be good at it. Or name that little son of a bitch after me, you and Justin. Or Josh, whatever his name is. But I know it's a J. <laughs> I ain't talked to y'all guys for a minute. Name it, Darky Wayne Jr. Yes, sir. So you're Shana's high school friend, right? Can I ask you a question? You know I was sitting in your yard, right? When the washing machine you gave to her, that didn't work. <laughs> well, I was told that you was an old man on sugar diabetes and I wasn't allowed in your house. Her grandma looks dead at me and says, she's fucking lying to you. She went to school with that boy. 
And I said, oh, is that why? And I said, that's why she don't want me going there, because I'd fucking make him eat his goddamn own head. You're the one that gave him the pills, right? The Neurotin, the Lyrica, right? You're the one that made me sit there for four hours. Four fucking hours. What, with the kids in the car. And I was like, fuck this, dude. Let's go back home. Ain't nobody really worried about no goddamn Lyrica. Well, whoever it is. You know what I mean? By God. But your name was called. How would I know Jerry Buchanan? How would I knew your name, how, how you was from? And where you live. A cop lives right by you. And then an old trailer. And then your place. The stories I've heard, boy. I'm not, the only thing I'm saying here, bro, I'm, the only thing I am saying here, I always wondered why she would lie to me about you being an old man. What was with that part? That's correct. So you took her narcotics illegally while kids was in the car sitting there watching. I'm glad you can honestly say yes to that. You caused us to sit there for four and a half hours. Them kids was begging to get out of that car. I said, fuck this punk. And why do you think she came around the store when you came? Because I was ready to jerk your motherfucking ass out of the truck for making the kids wait for so long. You don't know anything about it, but you just admit it to it? Fucking liar. It's called Penton, Lyrica. Red and white capsules. You sat there and gave them to her. I was sitting in the car, idiot. Oh, trust me, I, I told her, I said, if you think that fat piece of shit can run with me, I was like, I will fuck him up. So we are. Just like don't get out and hurt him, Derek. Don't get out and hurt him. I was like, I know. Just like don't get out and hurt him, Derek. I was like, I don't get out and hurt him. I was like, I know. I was like, I heard all these motherfuckers. When Mary told me y'all went to school together, I knew it was sexual favors for drugs. I'll never think different, buddy. Nobody gives drugs away for free, and you've also paid her a power bill. She ran up, and she sent you nude pictures for that. More than nude pictures, because she said, I need to tell you something. Now, it could have been your uncle. No, no. Then why would she tell me, motherfucker, this man is 80 years old, you can't come in. Her instantly, there's Tr there's Trish right there. You want to call Trish a liar, boy? That's that Jerry guy, Trish, trying to say that, you know what I mean? He knew nothing about what I'm talking about. He's a fucking liar. She tried to say, you was an 80-year-old man, bro. Till Mary looked at me and said, that's a fucking lie. They went to school together. That's because you would have got fucked up. Exactly because she was fucking with him. For fucking drugs. For fucking we're talking about diabetic medicine, people. That's what she was fucking around for. Unbelievable. Her grandma looked at me and said, that's a goddamn lie. Because Shana was worried about going in the house while me and her, her fucking, her making her granny pick out the washing machine. Helping me. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I said Mary. I said Trish is in here, but Mary is the one will tell you what I'm talking about. What am I talking about? You went to school with her. You're not an 80 year old man. It don't look like. You look like something that needs a fucking haircut. <laughs> and you got fucking nude pictures. She told me, bro. She felt awful about it because you know what I mean. And you paid her power bill. $2,000, right? But you didn't give all that. You gave some of it. <clears throat> you want to see the text messages, buddy? The screenshots of that? You're fucking with the bull right here. It has every... If I speak about something, I already got you by the ball sack, buddy. Dangling. What the fuck did that just do? Man, I see what it is. I'm just telling you what she said. And any male, you know what I mean? That's right. You don't leave your kids in cars sitting, burning up for goddamn 
basically junk medication, okay, for four hours until this boy pulls up in a fucking Silverado that's falling apart with a camper top on the back. <laughs> Please, dude. She begged me not to get out of the car and fucking jerk you out of your vehicle. Because, uh, wouldn't you be if someone was feeding your fucking old lady medications and causing you to leave, wait four hours and shit? Remember that sheets you met her at? I was sitting right there in the car, homie. I'm not being hostile towards you. If I hear something like this, it pisses me off. You're not the liar here, bro. She was. But if you knew she was lying to me like that, that's kind of fucked up. You see what I mean? What happened to the bro code, homie? That's something boys in Virginia know nothing about. Nothing about. Because they're boys. They're not men. She's been with five or six men since November of last month. We broke up. Guess how many bitches I've been with? I'm a very, very picky motherfucker. Okay, Chris, I'm the one sitting there saying, why the fuck are we waiting? Can't we go home? Didn't you hear me just say that? No, you're just taking up for a piece of shit. It's what you're doing. Motherfucker. You see all them likes and all them hearts? That's because I speak the truth, you know? You be good too, bro. I'm just telling you how she put it is all I'm trying to say, man. And it wasn't this young boy that got out of the thing. He said it was her uncle. That m meets the criteria more. I've never seen this long-haired fella. But I know she used the name of Jerry Buchanan paying her power bills and shit. She's trying to throw you under the bus, homeboy. You might want to watch what you give that girl and shit. You know what I mean? You're feeding her drug habit right now. Anybody, her grandma is the worst one doing that. She upholds her in everything. The day she seeks help like I did, you might fucking make something out of yourself, girl. Until then, you can't, you can't even take responsibility that you have a drug problem. Oh, I'm doing great. I sold the, uh, my, you did not sell your trailer. That was your fucking, it, your pop-off. You just said that shit trying to get at me. That didn't do nothing. The reason I asked Jerry about that is because why are you watching my feed? You see what I'm saying? He's never came in here. And all of a sudden he does. Kind of weird, huh? I don't spit nothing but facts, Jesse. Who's got time for bullshit lies? I sure in the fuck don't. But guys, I'm going to get ready take off to the DMV. Oh, then I got to drive over to the new uh, warehouse and drop that off so they can, you know what I mean, put my, D, my new ID with my paperwork. See what I'm saying? You heard me say, I called him out. Hey, baby, Dad, I hear you. What's up, girls? How y'all doing today? Get a hold of me on the DM. Uh, I'm getting ready to head out and head y'all's way. Get a hold of me. Uh, you know what for. We're talking marijuana here, guys. We're not talking fucking dope, crack, crank. Do you see him deny that shit? And then sit there and... I just sat there and said, you said this. But this? Why would she tell me? No, ma'am, I stopped the mines, Tara. I stopped the mines because... Fucking Logan. Logan, because if you... Uh... You're a motherfucking... Charleston, you'll be sitting there two hours just to get seen. I have an appointment at 1.30. As soon as I walk in, I was over there two days ago. The computers have been down for two days. As soon as I walk in, 
picture, I'll walk right back out. I won't be there for moments. They already, they got my birth certificate and everything over here held in the envelope at the DMV. So once I walk in, bam, bam, boom, done, hand my shit back to them. Tear my old ID up, let's go. You see what I'm saying? These will be driver's license on these ones. For fucking once. Thank you, Jim Justice, for the fucking first chance rule. See? I'm just getting most of my shit renewed. It's a renewal. You know what I mean? But they have all that also on the internet. Now, let me tell y'all guys something. If you're trying to get a driver's license or a renewal on the internet, if you haven't been in person within six years, you have to go. That's why I have to go in. See what I'm saying? Because when it's 20, I'll pay $30 for this ID. That's $5 for the card. That's For five years, it's 25 bucks. But I'm stupid, guys. I'm illiterate. I don't know how to say it. It's the same in Texas. It's a true story. Don't matter if it's suspended or not. Here in West Virginia, you can drive on suspended operators as long as you're paying for them. Now, if they're completely suspended, you're not. Yeah, you get the real ID anyway, though, Terry. You just made yourself sound a little bit crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, you get a copy of your ID and plus an email that constantly co and copies that, that any business can't override. They have to take that 30 to 60 days it comes in the mail. You do get a real ID. I don't know how what state you live in, how it works, you know what I mean? What if they are expired? What do you mean? The driver's license or an ID, that means they re you got to renew them. Mine expired when I was at Shane's on my birthday. I know, I can, why, no, a real ID is not, no, it is fucking not, that's just 30, 10 more dollars, she said, give, it's gonna cost you 30 total, she said 40, you can get it federal, yeah, I know what she's talking about, she is right, there's one called the real ID, that's a federal ID, Tara, that don't mean you can apply, I can take a regular ID and apply, I know what it is. That proves that you're a goddamn citizen in this country and then you ain't gonna fucking try to blow something up. I forgot all about that. I was like, why is it saying real ID? And it was about flying. She's right. I forgot all about it. I'm sorry. That's something brand new. There definitely is a second chance thing. Five of my, Jim Justice passed it on July 1st of last year. That's Shana's birthday. Okay? Fucking her birthday last year, they passed that law. See what I'm saying? If as long as you pay five dollars to ten dollars on each fine you have, you're allowed to have your driver's license. Facts. Read that shit. You said you don't know about that? I do know about that. No, she don't gotta take the test. You take the test one time in your life. She does not have to take that test. My son's 16 years old. I guess if he, you know what I mean, take the test, he's got his learners there the whole nine yards. Okay, listen. I guess if he didn't take that test, listen to what point I'm going to make. In 10 years, he wouldn't be able to get an ID renewed. Bullshit. I went seven and eight years with even out an ID and had to have one mate because they're unnecessary half the time because unless you're going out to bars and shit, and now where I'm older, I have to have them. Cashing checks, blah, 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 etc. Go to w, WV, DM, DMV.gov. Choose your state. <laughs> it's a fact. Guys, is there not thing called a second chance rule? State of West Virginia, you can pay on any violation towards your operators as long as all the each one is paid on each month your operators are fine to drive on. Unless you have so many points taken off it. You see all the likes and the hearts? Trust me, I'm a very smart guy, man. Very, very smart dude. 
I got a photographic memory also. When I see something like that, you know. See, Kayla Ayers just said yes. West by God, Virginia. That's right, baby. We got some great shit. We got the Castle Law. Just like my fucking name says, baby. Castle. Too bad, Kayla. You didn't get a hold of me earlier. If you wasn't doing nothing, I would have shot over and picked you up. And you could have rode to the DMV with me or something. You know what I mean? I hate riding by myself, man. I fucking do. My buddy was supposed to be here by 11.30. I told him. I said, I got to be there at 1.30, motherfucker. That's Logan. You know what I mean? I'm going about, um, probably about mm, 40 miles out of Pikeville, Kentucky, here in a second. 40 more, you know what I mean? Not even 30 more minutes with me driving. You're in Pikeville, Kentucky. Why you think I was going to go to that hillbilly days? They said they had people there waiting for me and shit. I know better than that because my buddy showed up just to see if there's people looking, asking around for dirty and shit. Because I knew they would say it on the internet. They'd said it at the coal festival. I said, well, they should have fucking walked right up to me. Because I don't miss one day and never miss the coal festival. Ever. Been going to them for over 20 years. Life's short, guys. You know what I mean? I appreciate that, Jennifer and Mikey. But I'm telling you, listen to what I'm saying. I'm telling the truth about the second chance rule, all that. I promise you. Say that girl said he does have Virgo energy. I agree. The good Virgo. You got damn right I got Virgo energy. Because fucking, you can see... I hate the DMT too, but what you don't understand, Kayla, I already have an appointment. I was there two days ago. I'm not going to be in there too long enough. The woman already knows. As soon as I walk through the door, what I'm there for, it's done been filled out, everything. She processes. She said, when you get here Thursday, she said, I'll be sitting right here, honey. She said, and she said, well, you already got, you're a registered voter, first of all. She said, you got your fucking birth certificate. A 911 statement stating where you live, all that, they all match. She said, I cannot. She said, all I need is that registered voter card and that right there and nothing else. She said, you got good, you knew, you came prepared better than anybody I've ever seen this. I said, yeah, I always keep this in one thing. I said, it's just, it's called the DMV for, uh, file. I got this little file thing. I put it in, put it inside my safe. That way, every time I have to deal with the DMV or the vital statistics, I have everything right there. Thank you, Kayla. Hey, Kayla, I'm going to ask you a question. You want to go see Justin Moore May the 6th? I have an extra ticket. May the 6th, Huntington, West Virginia. My ride, my treat, sweetheart. I just don't want to waste a ticket. There's only a certain few girls I would ask. I'm a picky guy, you know. I have the tickets, everything. Yep, uh-oh, dark belt one. You see what my buddy just said? He knows I got the tickets, everything. I got, guess who I got tickets to right after that? Mr. Chris Stapleton, Charleston, West Virginia. Already paid for. My ex fucked up. Everybody keeps saying that. Your ex fucked up, Major Durkee. Since you got yourself clean and shit again, they're like, you are fucking on it, son. I was like, I used to be. I don't know. Fucking up. Why I let myself get so down like that, guys? But it takes a real man to shake it off when they're in that hole. Shake that dirt off your back that the people's throwing on you and take a step up, eventually you'll dig yourself out of that hole now, won't you? No matter how long it takes, they're filling that hole up. Just take a step, don't let it cover you up. Take a step and pack it on the ground and keep going. Shit, go look, I love starting over too. Didn't you see me put that on my thing last night? Listen, you know John Fogarty's song, I tiptoed in the room. You know what I mean? I know you got a heavy wrist. Joy of my life. Chris Stapleton redid that like fucking not too long ago, and I love it. 
I heard it on my way to the DMV the other day. I was like, oh my God, I've wanted to cover this song myself a million times, and he does it perfect. My favorite one is Millionaire, because he says, people look at her, then they look at me. Say that boy is sure living in luxury. I love that. And say love more precious than gold. You know Chris Stapleton was famous 20 years ago with the steel drivers. You ever heard the steel drivers the boy did on the American Idol? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I have. I've been offered by 10 other women. Please take me this and that. You know what I mean? No. No. That's ugliness. The only thing you want to do is to go to that concert. And, you know what I mean? Don't even want to be a fucking friend. You just want to go to that concert and wander all somewhere. You see what I mean? Hell no. I'm not paying for somebody to do that. I'm paying for the person I go with. As You know what I mean? I would rather, you know what I mean, give it to a girl that, you know what I mean, I'm trying to talk to. But I think Kayla's got somebody with with her, but I'm not trying to fucking just lose the ticket, you know what I mean? But I doubt she's with somebody because they wouldn't be letting her go to a concert with a man. See what I mean? So that's how I'll be taking her. My ex was so jealous of it. I've been accused of her about 32 times. You accuse me once, that's on you. You keep accusing, you might as well do it because you done wear the label of it. Facts. Yeah, one was a lawyer, a, a lawyer girl. That's right, a lawyer came over to me. She was like, honey, I just have to tell you. Your eyes are beautiful. And I was like, well, thank you. You know what I mean? All I was doing was pumping fucking gas to go to the DMV for my, you know what I mean, to take my car to my job. What's up, cuz? I was taking up for you on there. You know that, right? I fucking always will, too. I know who's in the right and who's in the wrong. I know you, this is, like you said, it's our fucking family. Let us deal with it. You know what I mean? I, on that shit, you can't type back fast enough because there's 600 people sitting there wanting to ask you a question about this and about that. You, you see what I'm saying? I'm like, man, shut the fuck up. Let her speak. Little man got a hold of me. He said, dude, uh, you're in Princeton, ain't you? I was going to say, if you was down that way, Kate, I'd pick you up and smoke a couple blunts and take you to the... I need somebody to ride the DMV with me. I hate driving by myself, man. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it, hate it, hate it. But I got Wi-Fi in the car. <laughs> Many people don't have Wi-Fi in their ride. We can't see that, right? What's up, Kaiser? Getting ready to deal with the... A... I will, Kayla. I did the other day. Hey, Kate, I got three tickets to that concert. I'm going to take Kayla there with me, you know what I mean? If you got a day, uh, it's on a, uh, it's Saturday, May the 6th. Justin Moore. And then the other one is the month after, on the 9th. Yeah, me too, see? Dealing with the fine, you know what I'm going over there for. By God, my ass is clean, Kate. You, you've ever seen me this fucking clean? You know that. You know what? I told you I was struggling to get off from like no fucking meth, nothing like that. You know what I mean? The same shit they give you to fucking try to get off of other shit addicted me. You know what I mean? Just to, you know what I mean? Brand he killed, Hoskins kills me. He said, I'll wear a dress and put lipsticks on if I get a ticket. I told you I was piss, pick, picky Hoskins. You're going to have to get plastic surgery or fucking something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. We fuck with each other all the time. Oh, no, man. Don't tell me that. Bad news from a doctor. A girl that actually fucking talks to me and likes me is fucking probably dying or something. That's my fucking life, people. I swear.
That's been my life. That's the luck. If I didn't have no, if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any at all. I promise you. I followed a state trooper all the way to the DMV. <laughs> Cause they'll fucking fly, you know what I mean? And and everybody it tries to slow them troopers down. And troopers are like, fuck. They're zigzagging through traffic. You see what I'm saying? They open that hole right up. Bam. Yeah, I pray, I'll pray, I'll pray for you. I'll put you on the prayer chain. Last night I put my buddy on there. And somebody else. And myself. I don't want to live to be old. I've said that multiple times. Kobe said that. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're going to. We're going to, cuz. We're going to uh, go to Pipes. There you go. Pipe Stem and all that. And Hinton. Blue Stone. Remember when we went up there and jumped off the rock cliff that time? That was fun as fuck, wasn't it? Billy's back still ain't the same. Remember he fell in that fucking drop hole and we had to fucking grab him? We, we was waiting with him and little man catch some fucking helgramites. Yeah, fucking, I'm, I love it over there. Yeah, I was gonna say, Kayla lives right by there, Katie. You know what I mean? I can take that Amtrak's and be at Kayla's in within an hour, and it don't cost but 15 bucks. Do you know that, Kayla? You can ride that Amtrak's right there that goes right through your town. You know what I mean? It goes through fucking uh, White Sulphur, all that. Beckley, everything, you know what I mean? I think, yeah, is that the picture I've seen of you and Zach, like, by the water and shit? Man, he looks a lot like Junior, same size and everything, but he's got your nose to the fucking T. Nose to the T. Yeah, the Amtrak is only 15 bucks. Right to Charleston, McCorkle Avenue. You know what I mean? That's Charleston's probably, like, 35 minutes from me. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was the beach. That was Myrtle Beach. That's right. I forgot, cuz. That was when you got your little break, too, there, that weekend off. I remember. You say, love. But, uh, everybody, I'm gonna get off of here. I'm gonna go get this shit took care of at the DMV and then hit the hills and do some moochie hunting. You guys have a great day. I hope every day, everyone has a wonderful day. Stay blessed. God bless everybody. And stop. Let's all stop being ugly to each other in this world, just like John Coffey says in the Green Mall. I'm tired, boss. Because he tells him, I'll let you go right now, John Coffey. I'll let you walk out that door. You are. You overpower. He says, No, boss. He says, Why? for something else and he made sure he paid for what he did to them two little girls you see what I mean and when they find him crying oh you're under arrest from murder the way he says it you know what I mean and that's God's angel that's why he's there they walk up You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's stop being ugly, everybody. Life's too short for it. Talk to you guys in a bit. Peace. Bob and Bills.